At first I was thinking, did I really want to make this video? And then I thought, hey, why not? Hey cute people. First, let me start by saying, I know I'm late with the announcement for the giveaway winner, which I will make that announcement here in this video. But I really, really wanted to rant about something. It may not be something that you're interested in, but if you are, I greatly appreciate any comment you'd like to leave, feedback, question, or anything. Because as usual, when I make these type of videos, I just want to know if someone else feels like I do, or what are your thoughts on it. And that is age, fashion, and beauty. Not long ago, if you watch Oprah's Prime, she had some women on her show and they were talking about age and so forth and on and on and on. Let me just say, this year I will be half a century plus one. So that means I'm half a century old, which is what I like to say. It makes me feel better. Whatever gets you through today, right? But um, me, myself, I feel like, I feel a little excluded from the, some of the things that I like and have always liked. Yeah, like where do most of the mature doll babies go when they get a certain age and um, they may still be into beauty, looking good, dressing good. And when I say dressing good, I don't mean dressing like you're 50. I mean still dressing stylish, still looking cute, um, not wearing things that you have to wear because someone says this is your age and this is what you must wear. Now I do agree that if that's your age, there are certain things you do not need to put your body in. Like even though I look at those, um, I don't know what you may call them, little pleated skirts like the leather ones that are kind of short neck pleated. I think those are so cute, but they are not for women my age. No, 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 no. I love Bethany, but she needs not keep wearing those skirts on her shelf. I don't care how skinny she is and that her body looks like she's 17. No, mm -mm. no, it just don't sit right. But anyway, back to the situation at hand. I'm in my bathroom, I'm sitting on the edge of my tub, that's why I don't want to stay too long. But I just want to say, you know, like, especially like here, the reason why I brought it up because initially, like I said, it started when I watched the Oprah Prom and they were talking about older age, which I really won't get into because that could take up the bulk of this video. But that's what started or planted the seed in my head. So now today I'm watching a video by Naturally Fashionable, which I really enjoy her channel because she wears some of the cutest things and she puts them together oh so well. She had a lookbook um, that she did. She got some stuff from a site. She did a lookbook and she looked absolutely glorious in everything that she had on. It was a particular dress that I was you know digging on so i went to the site to look at the dress and lo and behold as soon as i got to the site it seemed like every model that i saw was like 17. <laughs> and the reason why it hit me is because i'm like wow goodness gracious can you put so you know i know a lot of people are not checking for people of a certain age they feel that we're not buying clothes and that may be true but there are some women my age that really still want to look stylish and even though you want to look stylish you want to go to the store and pick up some cute things things that really look nice and that's still age appropriate i think sometimes you can get something that is made for someone else other than yourself and make it you right i mean take for instance now this is just a simple gap t-shirt that i have on i've had this t-shirt for such a long time my style pretty much is conservative so a lot of things that i have i can wear over throughout the years all right, so now we take this simple t-shirt mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and anybody can wear it. Anybody can do anything with it. Like me, myself, if I wanted to dress it up, I'll throw a blazer on with it with some cute jeans. I don't have any skinny jeans. Can't say I'll ever buy any. Who knows? I just may. And some cute shoes, whatever it is I decide to wear. Some cute boots, booties. Um, if it's warm enough, maybe some sandals, you know, thong sandals, whatever. Um, it doesn't mean that a young lady who's in her 20s or even 17 could take the same t-shirt and make it really fashionable. So I look at, so as soon as I saw it, I was like, my goodness gracious, everybody on here is like 10 years old, you know. And that's just how I feel sometimes. Like, they don't think that people who are of a mature age want to dress stylish and cute too. It's like, 
other than um, Chico's, I can't think of another site that's made for older women. I say Chico's because it's not really for teenage girls. And I'm pretty sure they probably don't want to cater to 50 to 60 year old women either. But it's like, wow. If, if you're 50, does that mean you don't want to dress anymore? Same thing with makeup. You look at the advertisement, everybody is young. I know that most companies, you know, they're not marketing and advertising. They're not checking for women of my age. But women my age, we still want to look cute. You know, I mean, I think I want to look cute to the day I die. I was in Rite Aid today. A woman was in the store. I know she was older than me. She, to me, she looked like she had to be in her 60s. Let me tell you what she had on. If I had a way to take a picture, I would have taken a picture of what she had on, not her per se. She had on a pair of skinny jeans, honey, a pair of biker boots. And the biker boots that she had on, a pair that I wanted, it was the pair with the gold plate around the hill. If I could find what site I saw it on, I would definitely include it in this video. Because when I saw her boots and then I saw her, I was like, go ahead, baby. She had on a cute little spring jacket coat not really a trench but it was still cute anyway but she had a cute shoulder bag she was definitely older than me she had to be in her 60s and it was so cute because she had the skinny jeans cuffed up you know like a biker would cuff up did you so they probably weren't skinny jeans let me change that they were more like boot cut no they weren't boot cut either i say slim fit like a straight fit, maybe straight fit, there it is, because they weren't blue cut. But she looked so cute, I couldn't believe it. And she was not a, and the thing about it is, she didn't look like an older woman trying to look young, even though everything she had on was stylish. And I say stylish because it's relevant to the style that we wear today. So I was like, you guys gotta get it together. Come on now, just because somebody is an old dog baby don't mean, you know, they don't want to dress. And let me change for an old doll baby to mature doll baby. Because that's what I like to call myself. I'm a mature doll baby. Half a century old. Yes, honey. And y'all know the gray in my hair is non-black hair. So those are my cold words for I am getting old. Like putting on makeup these days. Oh my goodness. I think I mentioned to you guys once before that um, it's so hard to put on liner. Now, I've never really been one for um winging my eyeliner i like doing it but that is really like a chore for me and now putting liner on my top lash is becoming a chore for me because one eye seems to be a little stronger than the other so if i have to close one eye i can't see as well <laughs> i mess up my eye if i show you what i did today you'd be like oh my goodness yeah but it's just so funny because when you get to a certain, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to stop wearing eyeliner because I'm not going to stop wearing eyeliner. But at the same time, I don't want to be that crazy old lady with so much eyeliner because I couldn't see how to put it on. Even though I wear, these are readers I have on, they're not glasses. So I got to get me some glasses, maybe some contacts because I want to be able to see what it is that I'm doing to my eyes. Because one thing, if anything I like when it comes to makeup is eye makeup eye looks because you can deck out your eyes and put on the simplest lipstick and you are good to go we know it could work vice versa but you know it's just like wow even like here on youtube i don't see a lot of um mature doll babies doing lookbooks and outfit of days i see a lot of younger people doing it you know when i got it here on youtube same thing i didn't see a lot of um mature women on here either i see quite a few now is more than when i first got on here but at the same time i'm like wow where where are we we just and and, and you know you love makeup because you're doing it you love makeup you love clothes and you love shoes just like you know our daughters nieces and all that like i like all that stuff too but it makes me so mad and nobody wants to cater to us it's like nobody wants to, to give us the, the the cute clothes you have to go to um Younger women's site just to get the cute, the cute clothes, and then you look at the clothes. All of them are not all of them are not geared just for young women. Going back to that dress that I saw, the dress is so darn cute. Anybody can wear it. 
Mm. I guess I'm saying sometimes with these sites, can't y'all just like add a mature lady up in the mix some kind of way? I mean, I don't care if she's just modeling earrings or something, you know, hats or something. Because a lot of times, if you want to be stylish, you are going to these sites to get those things. That woman with those boots, I don't know where she got them from, but I know I saw them on some site. She got them from either a site catering to some younger people or she went to a store that was catering to some younger people or when she was at a big department store that caters to everybody, she went to the section that was catering to younger people. I don't know. But everybody that's a mature dog baby doesn't want to look like an old mature dog baby. And even though our faces are changing, we still want to wear makeup and look cute. You know, you want to wear a nice pretty blush your blush doesn't have to always be something that's um neutral nor does your eyeshadow and all that stuff right i mean you you're a mature woman but you still want to look cute you still want to you know um pass on some of your secrets of what you know to other people i don't know i just wanted to rant about it because it's like <sighs> wow can we mature women get some love too? I mean, we like to do our hair. You look at um these advertisements. Nobody caters to us at all. And it's okay. I mean, I guess, you know, you have to say, I guess they cater to where the dollars go, A, and they probably do more shopping because I don't do as much shopping. And I'm sure when I get a certain age, I won't do as much shopping as I did when I was in my 20s or my 30s because clothes don't really mean the same thing as they used to. So I guess I, that makes sense. And I guess it means, it makes the same sense with makeup and your hair because sometimes I think to myself when I'm doing my hair, oh my goodness, who is going to do my hair when I'm 70? Because I hope it ain't going to be me. But um, right now, I'm all I got. So I guess in a way I could kind of understand it, but still it's not fair because there are some of us who still get down dipping and doing it and doing our thing. Want to look cute. Clothes, hair, makeup, pocketbook. And I already told you how old I am when I say pocketbook, right? Okay. So that's all I really wanted to talk about. You know, like I said, I can go into it much deeper because they really they make me mad. I was like, dang, man. Hmm. And then getting old is not easy. We know that. But it sure is a beautiful thing. That I can tell. It is. It is. You'll see. As you get older, certain points in your life, it may scare you for a minute. Think, oh, my goodness. I'm going to be 30. I'm going to be 40. When I was 50, you may turn um, half a century. I was like, oh, my goodness. I'm going to be half a century. Yeah, I take pride in that. A whole lot of pride in that. So, listen. I'm not going to keep this video um, going and going and going because I can because there's so much that I really like to say about um, getting old, beauty, fashion, and all that stuff. But I think you get the gist of how I feel. I don't like it. I understand it. It's a part of life. and That's just the way it is. Right? And I got to go to the eye doctor because I, I, I got to have eyeliner. Eyeliner is like... so much a part of an eye look I, I can't have one nice and one crooked which is what i've been doing so i'm going to end this video now and make the announcement of the winner like right now Okay, so that's the winner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you an email from your comment in the video. And that way I'm sure to get you and I'll tell you what to do from there. But hopefully you will definitely get your address to me as soon as possible because I have time like right now, like right now to get it to the post office. Okay, not like right now, but within the next couple of days to the post office and you get your um item like right away or as soon as possible so i'm going to end this video now because i'm going to get out of my dog bathroom to try to make a little bit lighter so i don't know how that's going to work but we'll see and i have to wash these dishes and i want to make a quick sandwich and go chill out and watch tv that's pretty much it for me so as always, I would love so much to thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next and I definitely, definitely want you all to share and spread love. 
Hey cute people, subscribe to my channel and check out my last three videos if you missed them. Also, I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram as Ebony Girl Speaks. Facebook, I'm Ebony Girl Speaks Naturally.